Hi, I'm Erin Riley, licensed landscape contractor, master gardener, teacher, and founder of Cabbage Hill Animal Free Fertilizer Company, the world's first plant and mineral-based fertilizer company. In this video, we're gonna go over everything you need to know about how to use your fertilizers to make your plants and gardens the happiest and healthiest they can be without using a single animal byproduct. We will eventually have an entire line of revolutionary plant-based fertilizers, but for our launch, we're starting with these four unique formulas. First, the all-purpose fertilizer. This complete fertilizer is nitrogen forward, enough to support ornamentals, greens, succulents. It's a fan of all plants. Next up is our vegetable fertilizer. It has increased calcium to keep soils more alkaline over time and to support tomato plants specifically. We also add additional phosphorus and potassium to encourage flowering and fruiting. Our acid fertilizer has all the wonderful attributes as our vegetable fertilizer, but we've added sulfur and cottonseed meal to give your acid-loving plants a lower pH. There's also slightly more potassium in our acid fertilizer because acid plants just seem to like that. And the newest member of our Cabbage Hill family, the houseplant fertilizer. It's higher in nitrogen and it has a little less of our soil boosters in it. Cabbage Hill animal-free fertilizers come in two different forms, a traditional dry granular bagged fertilizer and a soluble dry concentrate. Let's discuss the traditional dry granular form first. The dry granular all-purpose fertilizer contains a balance of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, along with many other trace minerals. We also add mycorrhiza and humic acids to encourage microbiological life. Because it is finely ground, it is absorbed by your soil and plants faster. Feeding plants with synthetic or chemical fertilizers can actually cause burns and even contaminate the soil over time. But with Cabbage Hill, the inputs are all natural, so it's actually pretty hard to overfeed your plants with our fertilizer. When it comes to how much fertilizer to use, start with a ratio of one pound per 10 cubic feet. I like to feed my plants with my soul. Like cooking, much of gardening is about feel rather than a mathematical equation. And without the risk of overfeeding, you can use your gut. You also wanna consider the season and the type of crop you're growing. I add more fertilizers in the spring than in the fall, as spring plantings often mean fruiting plants, for example, tomatoes and cucumbers, and they're some of the heaviest feeders. Beware of over-fertilizing root vegetables in the winter, like carrots, as they can respond by growing too large green tops or very small roots, so very little fruit. I grow a lot of lettuce and other leafy greens without the need for a large amount of fertilizer. With new soil, you'll want to work your fertilizer through the top two-thirds of the soil, followed by a very thorough watering. In raised beds and large containers, new soil or soil that has been neglected should be soaked for two to three days before you apply the fertilizer and then watered again after. Another option is the trough method. Create a trough that is two inches deep and wide alongside where you want to plant. Fill the trough with fertilizer and then lightly cover it with soil or mulch if you happen to be using it. With this method, you need to lay out your plants in advance on some paper, which is always a great idea, especially when you're new. So place where your plants are gonna go in your beds, and then you'll be able to see where the trough should go. With the trough method, as your plants grow, the fertilizer naturally infiltrates the soil, getting the most out of your fertilizer application. You can also do this when you're side dressing, which is adding dry fertilizer to growing established plants. And this is essential with fruiting plants through the growing season. You can also add our vegetable fertilizer or all-purpose fertilizer to your new compost pile as a starter. The soil boosters are just with the decomposition ordered. Remember, store organic fertilizers carefully, rolling the bag down tight. Our bags are compostable, so take care not to get them too wet. Close the bag every time you use it as moths love to lay eggs inside fertilizer containers, and that is an awful mess. Let's move on to our soluble dry concentrate and how to use it. Cabbage Hill soluble concentrates come in a micronized powder rather than a liquid, because why pay to ship water? It is a complete fertilizer blend of all the macro and micronutrients present in our dry fertilizers, as well as soluble mycorrhiza and fulvic and humic acids. It comes in all four varieties, all-purpose, vegetable, acid, and houseplant. Liquid fertilizers are easily accessible to your plants and easy to apply. They can be used every two weeks on established seedlings as a root drench or use a watering can with a rose attachment. These fertilizers are also great in hydroponic systems. Add two tablespoons of our concentrate to one gallon of filtered water or rainwater in a bucket or bin. This can now be diluted two to one or four to one, depending on your needs. Another method is to make a dilution and dunk your baby seedlings butts in the solution before planting. This really motivates the mycorrhiza to help your plants grow amazing roots. There really are so many uses. It might be a bit ironic for someone who has founded a fertilizer company to say, but I believe the best fertilizer is the shadow of the gardener. That's either Aristotle, 
La Cha or Billy Joel, but the point is spend time in your garden. Enjoy your plants. Hang out, hang up a string of lights, get a disco ball, seduce the plant gods. Fertilize ethically, thoughtfully, and productively with Cabbage Hill Fertilizer Company. Happy gardening, my cabbages.